Hey there, it's Steve here from TechGrove. Ever been stuck with an Android device you can't use because of that annoying FRP lock? Yeah, I've been there too, and it's frustrating. But don't worry, I've got your back. In this video, I'm going to show you some simple steps to bypass the FRP lock. No matter what Android device you've got or where you are in the world, stick around and let's get that device back in your hands. I want to make something clear. This video is meant for those who own their device and need to unlock FRP responsibly. We don't support bypassing security on stolen devices. Follow the law and respect others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's community guidelines. Now, let's move on. First, type in safeunlocks.com, navigate to the services section, and select the FRP unlock option. Begin the unlocking process by entering your name and email address, ensuring they are correct and accessible since all unlocking information will be sent there. Next, choose the brand of the device you want to unlock. Enter your IMEI number and accept the terms and conditions. To find your device's IMEI number, check the back of the phone or under the battery if it's removable. Alternatively, check the SIM card tray for the IMEI. After verifying all the information, click the Proceed button. You will be redirected to your order and should receive an email with the unlocking information. Follow the steps shown to activate your order and consider watching the tutorial video for guidance. Once the activation process is complete, you will receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box to activate your order, ensuring your device is turned off beforehand. Finally, you will receive a new email confirming that the unlocking process has been completed successfully. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. Now, here's something to keep in mind. These unlocking services tend to work best in first world countries. So if you're in an area where access to these tools is restricted, we've got you covered too. We offer 250 free unlocks each week to our viewers as a way to give back and help out. To get in on this, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment with your Android model, IMEI number, and the country you're in. Once you've done that, you're automatically entered into the weekly draw for the free unlocks. It's that simple, and it could be your ticket to getting your device unlocked for free. There are other ethical and legal ways to remove the FRP lock from your phone. One option is to contact the device's previous owner and request their assistance in unlocking it. They can provide the necessary credentials or perform the unlock themselves. Another method is to visit an authorized service center for your phone's brand. These centers can verify your ownership and unlock the device for you. Additionally, you can use official software tools provided by the device manufacturer. These tools often have guides and support to help you through the unlocking process. Always ensure that the methods you use comply with local laws and respect the rights of others. Before we wrap up, I just want to thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to TechGrove for more tips and solutions like this. And if you've tried this method or have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. We're here to help, and we always do our best to respond to as many comments as possible. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.